Tsarin continues to attack secret Imperial research sites. The Vorkniks project base is his next target. A short time ago, one of Tsarin's frigates dropped out of hyperspace and began launching fighters. Missile boat Mu-1 will hyperspace to the base's location at once and engage the traitor forces. Also, Grand Admiral Thrawn is sending several gunboat squadrons to reinforce. But for now, it's up to you. A new cloaking device is being tested at the base. The test bed ship must be protected at all costs. Z Grand Admiral Thrawn's plan to trap Zarin was unsuccessful due to the traitor's cowardly retreat. More worrisome is the fact that the convoy you fought so heroically to protect has disappeared. Now comes an alert from another of the Emperor's secret research sites. One of the traitor Zarin's modified frigates has dropped out of hyperspace nearby and is already deploying fighters for an attack. The security of this installation is paramount. Your missile boat is the nearest hyperspace capable craft that can get there in time to make a difference. To strengthen the defenses surrounding the Vorkniks project, Thrawn is also sending a pair of scout craft to deploy minefields around the test craft. By keeping the enemy fighters at bay, you will be buying time for the scout craft to complete their mission. You will fly missile boat Mu-1. In addition to the standard load of 40 advanced concussion missiles, your craft will have 20 heavy rockets to take out the enemy frigate. Also, your craft remains fitted with the tractor beam. The research facility consists of two platforms and four specialized probes. The experimental test bed is the Karelian Corvette Vorkniks. Several assault gunboat squadrons have been alerted and should arrive in minutes. Once again, we are depending on you to keep things under control until reinforced. The modified frigate Z Boris has a full complement of fighters already deployed. In the vanguard is a flight group of six TIE interceptors. Following them are three pairs of TIE bombers. Each of the TIE bomber pairs is being escorted by a trio of TIE fighters. There may be a handful of other fighters being held in reserve. Note that the TIE interceptors and bombers have shields, but the fighters don't. The Vorkniks project was charged with the development of a practical cloaking device, suitable for small starships. If the energy consumption of current cloaking technology could be greatly reduced, even smaller craft, such as starfighters, might one day be cloakable. The likelihood of success was considered low, but it was a gamble that would prove most rewarding should a breakthrough be achieved. Due to the far-reaching consequences such a breakthrough would engender, only the Emperor, Zarin, and the project staff knew anything of its existence. Now, a report of sudden progress seems to have drawn Zarin out again. His presence at this time raises significant questions. There must still be traitors among us who continue to spy for him. This also explains how Admiral Thrawn's plan to catch Zarin was thwarted. Remain vigilant. Inspect the enemy frigate before destroying it, so that our analysts will have that much more data to work with. Sentry 1 and 2 will lay a minefield around the Vulcanics. 